that butterfly. That wasn't pretty. Oh my goodness. But I did it. Oh, my first 100 on there. Let's go. Here at the pool, practicing my I am. Now, I've been swimming for about a year and a half, but I have still yet to master the breaststroke and butterfly. I've been focusing on freestyle for the last year and a half, and so I've been practicing for the last couple of weeks, but I've never swam a 100 I am. And my coach asked me to film. So I'm here, I've got my GoPro, I've got this camera. I'm gonna film from a couple different angles to see if I can work on technique. I have a lot of room for improvement on my technique and my breaststroke and butterfly. So I'm gonna give it a go. My first ever 100 IM. Here we go. If you've been following along, Nick has been crushing it in the pool and this 100 IM is no different. Now, if you're more of an advanced swimmer and you're looking to make those small tweaks to swim faster and smarter than ever before in the 100 IM, then make sure you're subscribed over on my channel where I have some pretty awesome new videos coming out to help you do just that. But for all of those rookies out there or even more experienced swimmers, here's the key to mastering the 100 IM. And I wanna break it down into three parts for you. You have four strokes, three turns, and pacing. So if we just break it down with those four strokes, it goes butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. Now, of course, you have to master each of these strokes individually, so try not to work on all of them at the same time, and really focus in on the stroke technique, the proper mechanics for each stroke at a time. And you'll actually find some similarities between some of the strokes. For example, butterfly and breaststroke are both called short axis strokes, and you can sort of see the wave motion is actually pretty similar between them. Then you have long axis strokes, which is backstroke and freestyle. Now you're probably starting with freestyle, so backstroke, even if you're not comfortable on your back like I am, you can figure it out because you're pointing your toes, the kick is the same, and the catch is actually pretty similar. You're just on your back and side rather than your front and stomach. So that's one component of the 100 IM. Master the order, nail the strokes, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. Now the next component of the 100 IM is the transition turns. So when you're doing a 100 IM, you have three different turns. And these are different from any other stroke. So in the beginning, you go from butterfly to backstroke. This is where it's really important to touch with two hands in butterfly, and then transition and push off on your back to begin backstroke. Then when you go from backstroke to breaststroke, you have to do a turn where you actually finish on your back so you can't roll onto your stomach and flip like a freestyle or backstroke flip turn. And once you touch on your back, then you transition to your stomach to do breaststroke. There's a few different ways you can do that, but the most important thing is that you finish on your back and you don't rotate onto your stomach until you hit the wall. And then the final turn is similar to the butterfly to backstroke where you go from breaststroke to freestyle. Again, you have to touch with two hands. You master those three turns and we're two thirds of the way done with mastering the 100 IM. The last part is pacing. Now my best advice for a beginner and even a more advanced swimmer is you wanna feel like you're building the entire length of that stroke. So in a 100 IM or a 400 IM, it really doesn't matter, but you wanna build each stroke segment. So on a 100 IM, you're doing 25 yards or meters of each stroke. So you wanna build the 25 fly, build the 25 backstroke, build the 25 breaststroke, and you guessed it, you wanna build that 100 IM so that each of the strokes, you feel your best building into the turn. So fly back, breast free, nail the transitions, two hand touch on butterfly and breaststroke, and then make sure you come home strong, and you'll be able to do that because you paced it correctly, and you are building each length of the pool to put together the complete package of a 100 IM. That butterfly, that wasn't pretty. Oh my goodness. But I did it. Oh, my first 100 on there. Let's go. All right, swim fans, I did it. My first ever 100 I am. Hey, it wasn't pretty, but it's a start. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna watch those videos. I watched the Whiteboard Wednesday videos with Ferris of 
five mistakes not to make in your breaststroke and five mistakes not to make in your butterfly. And I'm pretty sure I just made every single one of those mistakes. And I was probably DQ, but that's okay. I got to start. I'm sure my head was too high and I'm sure I was bending my elbows on the recovery and I was definitely bending my knees too much on the kick and butterfly, but I'll figure it out. Uh, so get out there, give it a try. If you've never done IM, it's fun, it's a challenge and it's something new, it's something fun. So if you've been doing freestyle all along, get out there and try the 100 IM. We'll keep improving the app and you just keep swimming. Give it a try and let us know how it goes in the comments. If Nick was able to do it, you can too. And just like Nick, there are so many swimmers out there who are doing amazing things both in and out of the water. So here's Paige to tell you more about that. Our swimmers have been crushing it recently with the My Swim Pro app. Meet Billy. He's 72 years old and he's been training with the workouts in the MySwim Pro app for over a year now. He just won silver in the 50 meter freestyle. The workouts in the MySwim Pro app have also helped Vamsi lose weight and get in the best shape of his life. Then there's Pangor, who dropped 14 seconds in her 100 yard freestyle thanks to her MySwim Pro training plan. We're always looking to share gold medal moments from our community. So if we've helped you reach your goals in the water, leave us a comment below or send us an email so we can feature your story. Also shout out to everyone I met at US Masters Swimming Nationals in Irvine, California. What's going on swim fans? I've landed in Irvine, California at the US Masters Swimming National Championships. Super excited to be here. The racing starts tomorrow. Four days of competition, 2,474 athletes are competing. If you're here at the competition, of course, I wanna say hello to you. So if you spot me on the pool deck, I'll be wearing the My Swim Pro swag. So make sure you say hello and happy swimming. I was there and I swam seven races and I had a ton of fun meeting swimmers from around the country. I held a meetup, we played swim trivia, and it was an all around great time. So I'll see you guys at the next event. And if you haven't already downloaded the My Swim Pro app, make sure you give it a try and check out the Get Fit IM plan and happy swimming.